Skyping is for chumps. Savvy techies today know that interacting using their voice with technology is the way of the future. So rather than typing commands into a web browser, using your voice to speak to your technology is the way everything's going. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and you're going to see that in a series of new smart home digital assistant gadgets which are just coming on the market. Amazon's Echo is one of those gadgets and as of the recording of this video it's not yet available in Canada. Apple has recently announced its HomePod device and Google also has Google Home which has just launched in Canada. So what exactly is Google Home? It's a voice activated speaker that's able to provide hands-free help from the Google Assistant. You ask it questions or ask it to do things for you just by starting your instructions with, okay Google. Google Home has two small microphones embedded in the top which are always listening for you to call it into action. So what exactly can Google Home do for you? There's an ever-growing list. You can watch and listen to media, get news, weather, sports, business, and traffic info, set timers and alarms, translate languages, do things like math and conversions, even control your home using thermostats, lights, and a lot more. Getting the Google Home device set up is ultra easy. You just plug in the power cord and it boots up right away. You'll download the Google Home app and then launch it. The app should find your device immediately, as mine did. Then you can connect to Wi-Fi. It'll ask you if you want to sign into your Google account or your Gmail account, and after running a short firmware update, it should be ready to go. Google Home can also act as your own personal DJ. Just by asking it for what you want, OK Google, play me some smooth jazz. Give it a sec, right. and it'll curate a playlist based on what you've asked for. It's got a whole bunch of different genres and albums and playlists and groups, so there's a real diverse array of product available. You can also say things to the Google Home Assistant like, OK Google, play me some soothing ocean sounds. And it'll go into its little library catalog and play you some nice sound effects as well. It'll be no secret to regular blog readers or YouTube viewers that I love my smart home devices. And I was really happy to find that Google Home integrates with a lot of those. From things like LifeX lights to Philips Hue, you can basically get it set up so that you can control all of those devices using the Google Home and just your voice. Okay, Google, turn on the living room lights. Sure, turning three lights on. When I first started reading about digital assistants and home speakers, I thought, honestly, why would I need something like that? I've got a phone, I've got a laptop, I've got an iPad or a tablet. Do I really need another device to interact with? And I was really surprised at how quickly Google Home was able to integrate itself into my life. Everything works quickly and seamlessly. I would say about 90 to 95% of the commands that I gave the Google Home were able to be executed on. So if I asked it a question, asked it to set a timer, asked it um, for a weather forecast or a newscast, it was instantly responsive and I really love that about the device. Okay Google, set a timer for 10 minutes from now. Sure, 10 minutes, starting now. If you're looking for more information about the Google Home device, I've got a full write-up on the blog at techgadgetscanada.com. The Google Home sells for $179 Canadian from places like Best Buy and as well as Google's online shop. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful in your search for a new digital home assistant. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, at Erin L Y Y C.